San Diego's latest plan to get unsheltered people off the streets, but is it working? Good evening. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. The city of San Diego opened its first safe sleep site last week and gave reporters a tour with Mayor Todd Gloria, who touted its benefits. But today, people who have been staying there say the city is not delivering on its promises. CBS 8's Steve Price talked with them about their concerns and has the city's reaction. The city's new safe sleeping site has now been open for just about a week, so How's it going? Well, we checked in with a couple of people who have been staying there and got their thoughts. Oh, number, four, number four through the gate. William Mulligan has been here since day one and appreciates the city's attempt to create a safe spot for those experiencing homelessness. And he's not alone. Yeah, yeah, I do. A lot safer than I did out where I was at. I mean, I literally feel safer. But now that people have been staying here for a while, they realize the city wasn't really ready for it to open when it did. They're building the plane as they're flying it. William says I mean, there are still no showers on site, no laundry here, and don't get him started on the bathroom situation. There was no water in the porta parties, so if somebody used it, it was just there stacking up. William also says the city is providing little to no counseling to help them improve their situation, but he does praise workers from the nonprofit Dreams for Change who are operating the site. He believes they are doing a great job under difficult circumstances. Do you feel like the city is giving them what they need to be successful? From what I see, no. I don't know what's happening outside in their offices, but right now, no. I don't, I don't see it. The site opened with 10 residents and has now grown to 19 in 13 tents. Eventually, it's expected to expand to 136 tents. The city's director of communications sent CBS 8 a statement saying in part, understand that the plan was always to ramp up slowly to work out any issues since this is a brand new program. Mobile showers come to the site and people can also be transported to off-site showers at one of our other shelters. Laundry is off-site but accessible to the clients. See, if we were less than a paycheck away from, from this. William lived in North Park for more than two decades, but injuries from a car accident combined with the pandemic pushed the truck driver onto the streets. He's going to stick it out at the new shelter, hoping things will turn around. I have to have a background check to haul hazard materials and those sorts of things, and I, I can't get that lived at the corner of walk and don't walk because they won't accept the peel box. You have to have these things in place. In Golden Hill, Steve Price, CBS 8.